Hello, my name is Ian Leyland and I'm the Art Director for Star Citizen and today we're going to talk about an internal initiative called Lawville 2.0. Now with Lawville and specifically the Lawville cityscape, it was probably the first major landing zone we have ever had to do. It was the first time we put a, a, a landing zone on a planet and we had the player fly there with minimal restrictions, although it did have that really big uh, no-fly zone. But when we did subsequent landing zones, we built up a bit more of a knowledge base and experience base about how we can effectively introduce cityscapes. So Area 18, Ubabid, Orison, we all developed more techniques and we always wanted to go back internally and put that knowledge back into Lowville. To start us off, I'll throw it over to Eric, our principal concept artist, and he can show you some more. Hi, my name is Eric Yanyo. I'm a principal concept artist for Star Citizen and Turbular in Montreal, and I'm here for to talking about the Lorville 2.0. When I started to work on the concept, uh, initially what I did is to create a variety of uh, sketches, black and white sketches of a different approach of, of that city. We create a, a side panel of a silhouette of the building. Mainly the reason we need to, uh, to work on that is for uh, mainly a gameplay issue because we would like to make a, a gameplay in the interior buildings and we need to create a, a bigger city to let the player uh, have a fun experience to flying through that. Yeah, so after the sketching process uh, and get some approval, I need to know very well uh, the footprint of that city. We build a city from a human scale, you know. We have nothing in that city they build uh, in a gray zone. So everything is built from that, that unit and it's built from the unit of the CBD. So this is the mainly the two main unit I used to, to, to build a city. So we have a kind of a proportion in terms of lengths and distances uh, to respect. So this is why I used a 3D uh, basis to, to, to working on that. So I need to make sure that the ratio of everything fits well to approach closely as possible. So mainly the goal is not to dig right away on the details, but it's to stay on the big picture and to see if the, the, the skyline makes sense. So this is a good challenge to play with that. And I think I did a, a nice job on that because at the end, what the feeling we have, it's like a real city. So I use my, uh, my 2D background in concept artists to make uh, the best as possible, possible concept art uh, with all the techniques inside of it. Uh, 3D, paint over, sketching, painting. And at the end, I was needed to create a very uh, speechless con concept to sell the, the, the mandate to the, the people uh, involved in that and they make sure they, they believe on that project and they could say, well, okay, now we are a Lowerville 2.0 and we're ready to moving on on that. Thanks, Eric. There's some beautiful image there and we had a lot of fun internally developing uh, that cityscape. Now, we're not just in concept development, We've actually just passed our white box milestone internally, so we're going to jump over to Max, and he's going to show you where we're at. Bonjour, mon nom est Maxime Guindon. Je suis chef environnement artiste sur le projet Star Citizen. Mon mandat en ce moment est Lorville 2.0. Euh, premièrement, je voudrais dire bonjour à la communauté francophone de Star Citizen, à toute la communauté en fait. Euh, ce que vous faites, ce que vous partagez, m'inspire énormément dans mon travail. From the concepts done, it was time to start it in engine, and uh, we, uh, we we've had to evaluate what, what was possible to do and to extend or to make it much bigger than the initial uh, Lorville city up to something that matches the ambition. For instance, we are keeping uh, the L19 area, we are keeping the CBD 
keep, we're keeping um, the spaceport and we're building upon uh, this and just extending the, the, the city. We've done several tests with the, um, the transit system, the rails, and uh, we tried to extend it out a bit. We're keeping the same number of gates, but we're moving, uh, moving them out. And so throughout these tests, we've built the city uh, as just placeholder, uh, white box, very primitive to have this, this layout, this fast iteration of the whole city um, done. And then that we could see it and get feedback on it. So it will feel more like a believable city. Um, we hope it to be fun to fly around and uh, like to actually uh, do some races in it. We're building uh, arches, uh, bridges and like underpasses and it makes it interesting to be able to fly around. We see the community of players, uh, they're, um, they're doing like uh, emergent gameplay of races and that inspires us and then the way that we're building uh, building this, this, this city. We are starting now the gray box. We have like uh, um, Montreal's uh, tools teams now that are working on like Houdini tools. And they are, we, we were chatting with them, see what we could, uh, could use from their library of tools. There will be several areas of like a higher level of detail, um, especially around uh, landing pads on rooftops and lookout areas. And uh, these are the places where the players will be able to, to land. These will eventually connect uh, to the interior uh, spaces that uh, will be built uh, later. And in that sense, Laurel will be ready for those interiors. We started as a team of, of two artists working on, on Laurel and now we're, we're five. And uh, we could even be like, more so soon um, each artist has the slightly different skill sets and we complete each other they bring ideas i let them bring ideas to the table on how to uh, advance uh, what we're doing make it kick ass so that's really important so i i hope you'll like what you see and we can't wait to show you more i'm happy about the opportunity of working on, on this mandate because it's 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 going to make such a, a huge difference. Thanks, Max. Uh, that's looking great. And hopefully you guys can kind of see even in a white box in format, we're seeing really good scale reads and understanding about how we can make the cityscape of Lowville probably one of our best yet. And we'll be showing more soon. Thanks for letting us showcase that for you today. Enjoy the rest of the show.